So I had a different video originally in mind for this Tuesday. If you haven't noticed, I started doing videos and releasing them on Tuesdays. I'm going to try it for a while. Anyway, back on subject. I'm going to I'm going to do a video on the Hamera, which I already did a quick review after a couple of weeks. This is going to be about my fan duct I just released, the part cooling fan ducts and mounting the block backwards. E3D wants you to mount the block forward. The problem with that is with the block forward, there's a lot of space along the front of it to have to blow air across when you do a part cooling fan. So what I've done, and there's plenty of room, and it really doesn't make a whole lot of sense, is mounted it backwards. Now there's a couple of small issues about it. One, it's not really designed for it, although it's not a problem. It doesn't hang past the body. It, I think it's better because the cooling system isn't, I mean, there's a big void here, so the heat's not going up into the cold area. So you're not, I don't know, it just seems like a better idea. The only problem is, is the way and concept E3D has the nozzle mounted, they want it sticking up off the block. You don't want it in contact with the block because then you're not sure if the uh, heat brake and the nozzle interface is proper. It'll still work. It does bring the nozzle closer. It still doesn't contact the block. But there is a way you should do it, or a way I found to do it, to make sure <laughs> it's not in contact with the block. That you're actually bottoming out the heat brake onto the nozzle. So, I hope I can film this. I'm not sure if I can or not. It's not really difficult, but I'm going to give it a shot. So, let's see if I can move the camera over to the desk and give you an overhead view. Alright, I hope this is going to work. I really don't have the hardware, camera-wise, video equipment to do this properly but we'll see okay the best way to do this and mount it backwards is not really to follow the E3D's directions exactly the first thing you want to do is install your heat break into the block just put it in there hand tight for now it'll stay if you're gonna do the uh, thermal paste put it on there thermal paste put it on there do it now the next thing, and it's going to sound weird, is take your nozzle, install it, and bottom it all the way out. Make, whoops, let's get it in the camera frame. Take your nozzle, spin it in, all the way, and bottom it right out. It's going to sound weird. Now, when you screw it on, you're going to want to just screw it on until the heat break bottoms out. Make sure it's actually bottoming out and you're not binding threads. All right. Now, when you look at it, it's at a diagonal. This is with the nozzle all the way tight. That means you can actually back it out, the nozzle out a little bit, and keep turning the block, and the you know the block will screw onto the heat break and give you that backwards. Now you can leave it at an angle. My OCD doesn't allow it. There's a lot of people that leave it at an angle. They say it's good. They have heat duct, or fan ducts, excuse me, set for it to be at an angle, and I actually think they put it at, oh, now i got to break the nozzle free. I think they put it this way over here, and that allows you to bring the nozzle down in contact, and, uh, you know, you'll have a, a proper rise. But what you're going to do is you tighten it up, back it off a little, back the nozzle out a half a turn, and then try it. Oops, too far. So now I'm going to bring it back down in. And you want to just have the, have the block just a little off, bring the nozzle in, and then bring it tight to it. If it's a little beyond, like that one is, another quarter turn, bring it to it. And you got to fiddle with it a little to get it exact. But you can get it there. There we go. Now it is still off the block a little. Very little. I don't know if this camera will be able to focus on it or not. Try it. There it goes. It zoomed in. Now if you look, see, it's still a hair off the block and that's what you want. 
That's really all there is to it. It's not that hard, but you definitely want to make sure that nozzle is not on the block. This is done so you can use a fan like this, a fan duct. This uses a standard 1550 fan. Just snaps in and you can put a screw into it. Goes right in. You can put screws through it to hold it on it into place. No problem. But the big thing is the way it goes across the nozzle. With the nozzle flipped, I can now bring this duct closer and just a little bit off the bed so I have better visuals. But it also brings it closer and makes it so it's going right across the nozzle itself. Plus I have another one coming in from another angle. It's a little bit smaller, but between the two, the air is now hits the part and dr the heat's dragged away. The airflow is dragged away. You can do the, f the fang style ones where you come from both sides. The problem is, is the air just swirls around in front of the nozzle. Now, I'm no aerodynamic or fluid dynamic engineer of any time. I'm just going with what just looks like common sense in a way. It just, I like this idea better. It seems to work really well. I have it on my other printer. It works beautifully. And I've done it before. It just works. Anyway, it's just an idea. You, you can go with it or you can't. But that's the reason for flipping the nozzle is so you can get this duct closer to the nozzle and point it directly at the nozzle instead of having it just flood the area with air that you really don't need. And this should, I mean, if it's installed correctly and everything's built correctly, this should cool your parts quite nicely. It does mine. But that's it. That's the whole reason behind it. Um, I like it. It works well. It's up to you. Use it. Don't use it. Flip your block backwards. Don't flip your block backwards. There's a couple people that actually have it turned into 45. That works too. Whatever makes your Hamera print and you happy works. I like this design. It works well for me.